All right, in this video is uh, part three of section 9.1, dealing with the basics of probability. And uh, we'll start with uh, comparing probabilities. Okay, this is the last thing I left off in uh, the regular class. Okay, so let's talk about how to compare probabilities here. All right, it is common to compare probabilities using phrases such as 25% more likely or 30% less likely or four times as likely. These are what we call multiplicative and not additive comparisons because they involve multiplication percent or both, okay? So we only deal with just multiplicative comparisons. All right now we've seen phrases well these types of comparisons before but here we're going to apply them to probability situations like this one the phrase a is 60 percent more likely than than b means this the probability of event a and of course the word is represents the equal sign the probability of b plus 60 percent times the probability of b 60% more likely than B. So that means we take 60% of the probability of event B and then add that to the probability of event B. That would be more likely, meaning addition. All right, next. Now the phrase A is 15% less likely than B means this. The probability of it than A and again, is is the equal sign, then that means we got to take 15% less likely than B. That means we need 15% of whatever the probability of event, B, of event B is and subtract that product from the probability of event B. The phrase A is three times likely to occur as B. What that means here is this. The probability of event A, that's going to be is, is the equal sign, three times as likely to occur as, to occur as B. So the probability of event, event B will be multiplied by three. Okay. Now you have to think back to a section when we were doing um, percent change, where you had to find the uh, discount or the uh, amount of the increase or the markup price, it's the same thing with probabilities here. All right, the media and researchers often report probability comparisons using the casual phrases times more likely and times less likely rather than the phrase times as many. All right, next uh, slide. Times more likely means this, and this is a situation where times more likely is used. Students who participate in the arts are four times more likely to earn recognition for academic achievement. The phrase A is four times more likely to occur than B means this. The probability of an A, and then that's going to be is, and that's equal to four times the probability of event B occurring. Thus, four times more likely really means four times as likely. And then times less likely, here's the situation. A study shows patients with surgery scheduled at, at about 9 a.m. were four times less likely to request pain medication than patients with surgery scheduled at about 4 o'clock p.m. That's according to the journal quality and safety in healthcare. Okay, now on the next slide, you'll see how this interpreted. The phrase B is four times less likely to occur than A really means this. The probability of event B is the equal sign, four times less likely. In this case, it's gonna be one fourth, the probability of event A. And that means four times less likely, it really means one fourth of the time as likely. Okay. All 
Okay, now this is the uh, concept map 9.2 in your um, handout or in the slides that I posted on Blackboard. It illustrates the uh, probability comparisons using words, equations, and diagrams. Okay, and I know that's kind of hard to read on the uh, slide on this uh, video here, but uh, you should have this. Uh, printed on Blackboard, so that way you can see how uh, those words or those phrases are used. Like in the one that's in the blue, where B is one-fourth times as likely to occur as A, and then your equation would be probability of event B is one-fourth times the probability of event A. Okay. So B will be four times less likely to occur than A, according to the wording from the media and researchers. And also in this case right here, A is four times as likely to occur as B. That would mean, as an equation, the probability of event A equaling to four times the probability of event B. Okay. And I also might like to do this. Probably much better to read it from here. Probability of event A, that's going to be four times the probability of event B. Okay. And from the media and researchers, if this was worded, it would be A is four times more likely to occur than B. And then next, in this case here, B is 25% less likely to occur than A. And that will mean this, the probability of event B, that would be equal to the probability of event A minus the product of 25% and the probability of event A. You'll take one fourth or 25% of the probability of event A and then subtract whatever the probability of event A is. And in words, B is one fourth less likely to occur than A. And then the probability of event B as an equation would be this probability equaling to the probability of event A minus one-fourth, the probability of event A. These two equations are pretty much the same. And then finally, if I can move this over, here we got A is 33% more likely to occur than B. So in this equation here, the probability of event A would be equal to the probability of event B. More likely, we have to add 33% of whatever the probability of event B is. Okay? And in words, this is the same as the one on top. A is one-third more likely to occur than B, and this is the equation for that. Probability of event A, and that's going to be is for the equal sign, probability probability of event B plus one third the probability of event B. Okay. So we're gonna look at this example that is related to comparing probabilities, like example 15. In this case, an experiment consists of randomly drawing a marble from a jar containing green, blue, yellow, and white marbles. Probability of getting a green would be 5 out of 20. The probability of getting blue would be 4 out of 20. And the probability of getting yellow would be 3 out of 20. And the probability of getting white would be 8 out of 20. And here I want to verify each of the following statements, like in part A. A green marble is 1.25 times as likely to be drawn as a blue marble. Okay, now let's, I'm going to go here to show you the solution to that because here we're trying to verify that this a green marble that's going to be the probability of getting a green marble and we said is that is is the equal sign 1.25 times as likely as getting a blue marble that would be 1.25 times the probability of getting a blue marble all right so now the probability of getting a 
green marble, we just said, that's 5 out of 20. And I want, and I want to know if that's equal to 1.25 times the probability of getting a blue marble. That would be 4 out of 20. Okay. Now, if you do this on the calculator, 5 divided by 20 would be 0.25 as a decimal. And then 4 divided by 20 times that 1.25 would be 0.25. Okay, so here you can just verify that on your own calculator. Okay, so this verifies that the green marble is 1.25 times as likely to be drawn as a blue marble. Now, part B. I'm going to bring this back up. In part B, it says here, a green marble is 1.6 times less likely to be drawn than a white marble. Okay, so this is the solution to part B here. We're trying to verify that the probability of getting a white would be 1.6 times the probability of getting a green. Okay, and it just says times less likely. So it's, we have to write it like this. Okay, so the probability of getting a white was, in this case, 8 out of 20 from the example that they gave us because it says probability of getting a white is 8 out of 20. I want to know if that's equal to 1.6 times the probability of getting a green marble. That's 5 out of 20. Well, if I do 8 divided by 20, that's going to be 0.40. If I do 5 divided by 20, that's going to be uh, 0.25. I take that back. 5 out of 20. Yeah, 0.25. Multiply that by 1.6, you'll get 0 0.40. So here, this verifies that the green marble is 1.6 times less likely to be drawn than a white marble. Okay. And part C is this. A yellow marble is 25% less likely to be drawn than a blue marble. 25, a yellow marble is 25% less likely to be drawn than a blue marble. All right, so in this case, we're trying to verify this. The probability of getting a yellow marble will be equal to, because that's what is means, the equal to probability of getting a blue minus 25% of the probability of getting a blue marble because it does say 25% less likely. So that means we take 25% times the probability of getting a blue and then we subtract that from its probability of, of obtaining a blue marble. Okay, so the probability of a yellow marble, that was 3 out of 20 as indicated in the example. The probability of yellow is 3 twentieths. I want to know if that's equal to the probability of getting a blue marble, that's 4 out of 20, minus 25% as a decimal will be 0.25 times the probability of getting a blue, 4 out of 20. Well, 3 divided by 20 will be 0.15. Uh, 4 divided by 20 will be 0.2. Now, if I do 4 divided by 20 and then times 0.25, that would be 0 0.05. And if I subtract 0 0.05 from 0 0.2, I would get 0 0.15, which is equal to 0 0.15 on the left. So that means that a yellow marble is 25% less likely to be drawn than a blue marble. Okay. Now let's look at Problem number 61 in the textbook on page 507. We have the probability of event A being 0.38 and the probability of event B being 0.48. Here, I want to verify the following. And I'll start with part A, where A is about 21% less likely than B. Okay, so here I'm going to write this. Okay, 
and I might need to pull this up so that way you see it. A is about. So that means the probability of event A, and the word is means the equal sign. And it says about 21% less likely than B. Okay, so that means I have the probability of event B, and then I have to set tracked off 21% of the probability of event B. Well, 21% as a decimal is going to be 0.21. Keep in mind, to convert a percent to a decimal, you just uh, drop the percent sign, divide by 100. Because percent means per 100. And then that's going to be multiplied by whatever the probability of event B is. Okay, so here I want to verify that statement. Well, the probability of event A is given as 0.38. And I want to know if that's equal to the probability of event B, 0.48 minus 0.21 times the probability of event, event B, again, 0.48. The left side stays the same. And I'm going to let you do this on the calculator by doing 0.48 minus 0.21 times 0.48. And you should end up with approximately 0.38 if you round that amount off to two decimal places. Okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So in this case here, I can verify that A is about 21% less likely than B. Okay, so, in fact, I'm going to pull up my own calculator so that way you can uh, see how we were able, to, how I was able to do it. Okay. I'm going to have to do this 0 0.21 times 0.48 first. <clears throat> That'd be 1.1008. We subtract that from the 0.48. And that's 0.3792, which is about approximately 0.38. Okay. So I verified part A. All right now, part B says this. B is about 26% more likely than A. B is about 26% more likely than A. And I want to verify that. I need to translate that into an equation. Okay. So for B, I'm going to say the probability of event B is about, well, I just say the equal sign, 26% more likely than A. So I need the probability of event A, and I need to add to it 26%. Well, 26% as a decimal, that's 0. 0.26 times whatever the probability of event A is. Well, the probability of event B we found that out to be 0.48 that's given to us. I wanted to know if that's equal to or approximately equal to the probability of event A, that's uh, 0.38, plus 0.26 times the probability of event A, which is still 0.38. And I'm getting that from what's given to us in that problem. So now the left side is 0.48. The right side, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the multiplication first because I don't, I don't think I have my scientific calculator here with me. 0.38 times 0.26. That's going to be 0 0.0988. And then if I add that to the point thirty-eight. That'd be point four seven eight eight.
but if I round this off, it will be 0.48, okay? So they're about the same. So I verified that B is about 26% more likely than A. Okay, so that's part B. And now part C. B is about 1.26 times as likely as A. I'll just write the problem. B is about 1.26 times as likely as A. So let's translate that into an equation. B, which is going to be the probability of event B, is, is the equal sign. 1.26 times as likely as A. Well, that's just a straight multiplication here. 1.26, and it's not a percentage, just a number, times as likely as A, which is the probability of event A. Now, the probability of event B was uh, 0.48. I want to know if that's equal to 1.26 times the probability of event A. A, which was uh, 0.38. So I just multiply 1.26 times 0.38. This comes out to be 0.4788. Run this off to two decimal places, this will be 0.48. So the left side is similar to the right side. That means I verified that B is about 1.26 times as likely as A. Okay. And of course, about means it's approximately. So we're not with those, we didn't come up with an exact decimal value as the left side, but it's just an approximate value if you round to the given number of decimal places that's given to you. Okay. All right. So this should be enough to uh, help you with the homework in section 9.1. And that does complete this video on section 9.1, dealing with the basics of probability.